Welcome back to Good to Know. Today we are telling inspiring stories and we continue with a chance encounter. I never thought that I would be on Facebook again and uh, going on Facebook was literally the thing that changed my life. It was a life-saving change for Rachel Rockwell and her old classmate Kate Corzine would be her agent of change. After having this condition for 12 years, knowing that I needed to um, eventually look for a liver donor, um, the time had come. Rachel opened up on Facebook about her autoimmune disease, primary sclerosing cholangitis. It was attacking her liver and she needed a transplant to survive. She and Kate hadn't spoken in about 15 years. Kate, a nurse and a mother of five, did her research on live liver transplants and answered Rachel's call for help. I approached my husband and I said, an old classmate of mine, Rachel, needs help. And I think that this is something that we can do. Um, and I'd like to offer my help. And so I shared it with him. And uh, after learning a bit more, he said, go for it. There was an outpouring of support for Rachel on social media. More than 50 people responded, but Kate ended up being the perfect match. They met for lunch two weeks prior to their September 29th surgery in the middle of a pandemic. It has been a very challenging year for a lot of people and to have this hope that's shared and um, yeah, the joy that comes from it, it's pretty, pretty amazing. There's a lot of darkness mm -hmm. and um, for people to see an opportunity for light and then see that happen so abundantly with Kate um, is definitely moving. While Rachel's grateful for Kate, both women are grateful for the medical team at Johns Hopkins that made it happen. Their surgeon, Dr. Andrew Cameron, says the amazing story of Kate's willingness to share more than half of her liver with a former classmate is a testament to the importance of transplants. Then we brought them both down to Johns Hopkins where we have an absolutely wonderful team. We do a lot of liver transplants at Johns Hopkins. The living donors are even more special because that's two surgical teams we need to have and it's two patients we got to take care of. Their road to recovery is smooth so far. Kate's liver will regenerate and Rachel is on the mend with her PSC thanks to her new organ. And I'm on a lot of medication to keep the liver happy. Mm -hmm. um, Kate's liver happy and uh, <laughs> by a year from now it will probably seem like my my liver but it is while the two shared sisterhood at Bryn Mawr graduating from the all-girls school in 1997 now they consider themselves liver sisters it's the piece of Kate that's giving Rachel a new lease on life Kate has no regrets just advice. So whether you have a loved one or a friend or you come across a bumper sticker or a Facebook post and you say, wow, that's someone that needs help and I think I can give that help, I would encourage you to just go for it. We have more moving stories from inspiring everyday people. I don't like having that ceiling right there saying this is all you're going to make. This is it. You're done. I get joy from the knowing that all them prayers my grandmother said was not in vain. It's good to know.